Jesus is going to get you one day when it comes to Judgment Day. Parents enraged over books in local school libraries. Four of them have been pulled in Osceola County for further review. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Tonight, the superintendent has come up with a unique way to head off the book ban rage that is sweeping across the country. News 6's Treasure Roberts is live in the newsroom tonight with this story all new at 11, Treasure. Yeah, Lisa and Matt, this is something so serious for parents. They were outraged. They say the books are just inappropriate and disgusting, especially for children. They're asking the Osceola School District to just get rid of them. Have you ever gotten a um, that's out of the blue. One parent at an Osceola school board meeting reading excerpts from a book she says was found in the Celebration High School library. Lara unbuttoned my pants and pulled down my boxers a little. And she says it's disturbing that these types of books are at the fingertips of students questioning board members. Do you guys think this is appropriate for kids in school? The books were called pornographic and parents blame board members for keeping them on the shelves. Jesus is going to get you one day when it comes to Judgment Day. All of you. The same issues were broached in Orange County Public Schools last year, where the book Gender Queer was pulled from three district high schools. That same book was also banned in Brevard County Schools. PEN America is an advocacy group for free expression. The organization recently released a report documenting the spike in book censorship in school districts across the country, noting it represents a serious threat to free expression and students' First Amendment rights. The report notes in the past nine months, more than 1,500 book bans have occurred in school districts within 26 states. Get it out of the schools. Go and tell them to purge it. Following the scoldings from angry parents, District Superintendent Deborah Pace instructed staff to gather these four books from school libraries, which are now under review. News 6 received this statement from Pace reading in part, I believe all parents have the right to determine what their own child reads. The district created a three-tier access plan to empower parents. Now they can filter what their kids read by choosing unlimited, limited, or no access to books in the school media center. Now, parents can complete a form to tell the district their access preference. You can find that link to the form on clickorlando.com. In the newsroom, Treasure Roberts getting results, News 6. Treasure, thank you. According to PEN America, seven Florida school districts have banned books in just the past year. You can take a look at the number of books banned in each county. Indian River tops the list with 161 banned books.